Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Today I want to talk to you about a few updates, rumors and stuff that's happening in the ID family. Not just ID3, also ID4. Let's start with the rumor that is spreading around uh, um, on, on some Facebook, Facebook groups that the ID3 will get an update of charging speed to 130 kilowatt. And uh, I was in Wolfsburg a few weeks ago, in the middle of December, and we talked to Thomas Ulbrich about it. He was the uh, um, one of the board members for uh, of Volkswagen for Electromobility. Now he's even higher. And it was a very nice talk, and we talked about it too, and they said, of course, they're always looking into what the battery can do, but this is something that they have to they have to test. So over time, what is happening with the battery when you charge 130 kilowatt? It, can you still maintain the warranty that they give you for the battery? Is <coughs> the battery still okay after a few years? And that's what they're still trying to test in their facilities and with with test cars and everything. So no. Right now, <laughs> don't wait for like next update. It will be 130 kilowatt uh, on your ID3. So this is just not true at the moment. Again, they're trying to look into it, but nothing is set in stone and nothing is said. Okay, from this moment on, you have 130 kilowatt cat here. Next thing is still ID3. It's about the final update that the ID3 should get. So the this uh, the should have been the software that the car would have been delivered from the start but because of delays and corona and everything and software problems everything got delayed but Volkswagen still wanted to push out electric cars so they don't have to pay too much in fines because of the CO2 thing that the the, that, uh, the Euro European Union has, has uh, stated so that uh, car makers who produce too much CO2 in their fleet have to pay something and they didn't make it just a tiny bit still many millions of euros they have to pay in fines but if they wouldn't have brought out the id3 in september and uh, no id4 in these in december then it would have been a different <laughs> a different uh, pack of money and so uh when is this update coming so this is the the real update like i said that the id3 should have gotten from the from the beginning it should fix many many problems it should have many many features that the car didn't have when i got it in mid of september uh it's called I don't know what the number will be then, I have no idea. They're still testing the software, it's still in tests, in cars and everything. And in a few weeks, I don't know exactly when, we'll see. Dealers will will get the, the, the update so they can download. And when they know uh, if, if it works, the download and everything, they will contact then customers and because every id3 is getting this update it's many cars and the update takes a day to install and have to flash uh, um, with the obd drive uh, obd dongle and everything it takes takes a while eight hours or so and of course it's about you cannot get 10 id3s in there at the same time so you have to schedule day by day who's coming in to get the updates and then there shouldn't be any problems but again it so the, the dealer will contact you and say hey how about this and this week can you come in for the for the update and then you have this update that we've all been waiting for and very excited next thing i finally have an answer to a question that i had for many many months <laughs> and and uh, I asked Volkswagen that before, but uh, I forgot, they forgot, but whatever. But I asked them, if you have a first edition plus who doesn't have travel assist, can you buy travel assist afterwards? Because it's just a software thing. So the hardware is, every, is there. It's just a software thing. And the answer is no, you cannot because it's not just software. There is hardware included in the Max or in other, other ID3s that have the travel assist. There's hardware in there. So just a software update. Not, and not just the steering wheel button. There's really sen sensors in there in the car that are needed. So travel assist can work. And the... Uh, 
plus like in my case or other cars that don't have travel assist don't have that so this is not possible id4 got delayed to march why is that very simple um, because they want to uh, deliver the id4 to customers with the with the final software with the me 2.1 software so not have a pre-software on there and then stuff could maybe not function perfectly they didn't want that with the id4 with the id3 it was necessary like i said before uh, um, uh, how it was happening id4 they want this so they're again built and they need to be flashed and then you get the car with the good software id3 pure can now be ordered what it what is pure it's the 45 kilowatt hour battery the smallest battery that the id3 will get i have the pro which has the 58 and there's the pro s which has the 77 kilowatt hour battery and the 45 kilowatt hour battery should give you i think 330 320 kilometers of wltp range and it starts at 31,000, yeah, yeah, 31,500 euros in Germany. And uh, it doesn't have a lot of stuff in there, not a, uh, a lot of options that you would want in the car. Like, you know, everybody wants something different. But this is your entry into the ID3. In Germany, we get uh, then here on top of that uh, 3,000. 500 euros off or 307 i can't remember that volkswagen gives you and then another 6000 euros you get from the government so 9000 euros less what is that 20 no <laughs> i can't uh, 23000 euros for an id3 i think that's pretty good and a day later when i made this video also now the id4 is available in the smaller battery in the 52 kilowatt hour battery which gives you 350 kilometers of range wltp range of course and starts at 80 uh, 38,500 euros so in germany with incentives it will be under 30,000 euros for the id4 and this these are all the versions that are available from the small battery to the big battery to the max which is then at 58 and then you can still configure other things but the cheapest one starts at 38 which weird rims <laughs> but the color is not too bad huh <laughs> I also want to update you on the channel. I was a bit busy at work for the last two weeks. Uh, I work in a warehouse and I was in charge of the move. <coughs> Our warehouse moved from one location to another. Not far, a few kilometers, but it was still a lot of preparing, uh, planning and then actually doing it. And I uh, was busy a lot. We moved over the weekend. There was a lot of work and I was a bit... <laughs> out of order for a while so there wasn't a lot of videos from me but i wasn't uh, 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 sleeping at all so i have contacted a lot of uh, car makers again for a uh, test car and you know that at the end in march i will get the mercedes eqc and in the beginning of march i think march 4th to march 11 for just a week i get a bmw i3 s press car that they deliver to me and i drive for a week and then they pick it up again and i'm looking forward to that that's in four weeks or so so that will be fun but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye